All right, folks, it's the moment that we have been waiting for for a long time. We finally have modern Power Apps theming. It's been a long time coming. Let's see how it works. So to get started building our new modern theme, we're going to open up our Power App in edit mode. We'll go over to the tree view and open up our theme tab. Here we have all the out of the box themes, but you'll see this new option to add a new theme. You'll need to give your theme a name. So I'll just call this one April. And there's only two things that we can customize in these modern themes. We can choose the font to use throughout the theme. I'll change this to open sans and we choose the primary color. So how modern theming works is it allows you to choose a primary color and then it creates a subset of darker and lighter colors in the shade range of the primary color that you choose. So for example, I could put in a hex value or I could use the color picker. So we'll use that. We'll try to create more of a purplish theme here. So I can drag and drop this color picker somewhere and get the purple pinkish primary color that I want. And you see in the generated color palette below, it's giving me a very dark color all the way to this really light pale pinkish purple color. And I'll be able to access all of those ranges of colors inside of my power app. So I did a lot of Power Apps design, and I know some of you are thinking if you're really trying to match your Power Apps to your company brand standards, oftentimes you'll have a primary, secondary, and tertiary color in your brand standards that you might want to reference throughout your Power App. And in that case, modern theming isn't going to give you that. So if that's a requirement, you'd want to use some of the more classic approaches, which I have videos about on the channel with creating variables and storing your themes and variables. But for these type of scenarios where you have one primary color that you're trying to match and you just want different shades of those colors to use, this is a good fit. So now if we want to get started using this, all we have to do is click create and it will automatically apply this theme to my app. To get the most value out of modern theming, you're going to want to use these modern themes with modern controls. And that's because when you use them with modern controls, they will automatically inherit the theme that you have set and you don't have to do any additional work. Now, this isn't to say that you can't use these with classic controls, but you have to do some manual configuration to reference the theme. So let's see what I mean. Let's add some modern controls onto this blank screen. So I'll go insert, we'll add the modern header control. And you see it's inheriting my theme with this purplish color here. And in each of these modern controls, we have this section in the properties pane for style and theme, and there's a color palette property. So the default behavior for all modern controls is to inherit whatever default theming colors that you have. So there's the header. If we add in a modern button, you can see that's also respecting the theme as well. Same thing for the tab list and you get the point. Now, how do we use this modern theme with some classic controls? Because as we know, there isn't a hundred percent feature parity with classic and modern controls yet. So we're still going to run into those use cases. Well, let's add in a classic control. So I'll add in the classic button. So you see it's not inheriting the theme, but we can make it do that. So we'll go into the buttons fill property here in the properties pane in the upper left hand side. And then we'll replace this RGBA code here with app dot. And then we have a new property called theme so we can get the theme of this app. And if we do one more dot, we can get the colors of the theme. And now another dot here. And these are all of those various shades of that color that we set. So we have the primary color, which is that initial color I set in the color picker, but then we have various lighter colors and darker colors to choose from in that shade range. So if I wanted to change this button and make it a little bit lighter, I could say choose lighter 20. And then you see it's slightly lighter than that primary color that I have. So that's really all you have to do anywhere that you want to reference the theme, just do app.themes.colors and then choose one of those color options. And you can use this in the HTML control or image control for using SVGs to dynamically reference your theme and have your colors match and all of that. And the same goes for if you're trying to update an application that you already have built with a modern theme. So for example, I have this screen right here that's already built out. So for example, I have this screen here that I built that uses some modern controls that I might want to update after I've went in and added that modern theme. So for modern controls, it's extremely simple. You would just go to the control like this header. And in this case, I had changed the color palette. So if we click on this color palette, you can override the default behavior, which is to inherit the theme. So I had changed that to this kind of burnt orange. But if I want to have it inherit my theme, I can simply go and click this undo button and that will restore it to using the default value, which is inheriting from my theme. 
And that's really all there is to it to get started using these new modern themes. Now, I'd love to know what you think. What do you like about this? What do you wish it had that it doesn't have and all of that? So drop a note in the comments and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.